This is Brickhead Boy Toy Reviews. I'll be doing a review today, not really a review, just an overview on some models from the CD by Mechanized Brick. I'll be probably doing three of these models. There's just too many. The selected ones I like are the half track, the uh, grief half track up here, and the Jeep. Just those three, along with this $40 instruction CD. I got the stickers along with them which is an extra $10 plus optionally I got some minifigs to go along with my models and four of them so brings it down to about $80 total plus 12 shipping which is not bad plus I had to buy pieces separately from Bricklink and my own personal collection so I really don't know how much I've spent on these because I've done uh, a piece haul a lot of pieces for other sets as well so it's hard to tell but these are the old dark gray and regular gray so they're discontinued no, no longer produced so they are kind of hard to find so I separate the pieces for each model this one's the Jeep this one is the grief half track and this one's the M16 half track the CD is in PDF format and it shows you the number of pieces and the types and color. So there it is. And of course, there's the uh, disclaimer. So let's get started on this. That's complete. Got your Grief half track, your Jeep, and M16 half track. Here are the spent sticker sheets where you have to cut them, so it took some time to do this. There they are. That's the result. So you can see the flaws uh, the way I cut it, but not too shabby. Um, there's also these stickers, which is a lot for the planes and let's take a look at the models on this the CD anyway so you have the T34 which is which one's a T34 there right there the T34 T74 M8 there's a Jeep my half track that's the Sherman Panther Tiger and P40 P38 and 51 so how many models is that there's 11 12 models so I did not realize that this came out in 2005 that's quite a time from now 220 so 15 years ago building instructions were a little bit harder to follow than usual Lego less steps and a lot of uh, pieces put together for one step so with the building building techniques back in 2005 these are very advanced so even till now there's a few advanced techniques and quite impressed with these models actually since there's no cheese slope pieces this is back when inventory was very limited for Lego let's take a look at each model one by one the most simplistic build out of all these is the Jeep, and it does look very stubby, kind of cute in a way too. Very primitive, nothing too fancy about building this. On the back you have a fuel container and extra tire. You do have binoculars, steering wheel, and you can fit two minifigs in the front and one probably in the back. You have your old window here and brick built gun on top. Small little feature here, this thing does come down. 
the minifig I bought to pair this Jeep. It has the new light bluish gray uh, binoculars. So I'm going to use the old dark gray to match the Jeep. And torso on these looks like it's a, a sticker. The Grief Half Track, here it is. It's a little bit large for 135 scale. That's what these uh, are. And you can see the sticker there that I applied and on the other side. So as I was building this, I thought I had the right pieces and I was missing the old dark bluish or dark gray there. So I had to use light gray instead. Got to order the dark gray. And this thing's supposed to be dark gray. So just those two colors are not right to the actual model. Everything else is there. So this one here had more advanced techniques. Um, even for today, it's pretty advanced. You have studs facing forward in the nose here and then backwards on here and studs sideways on these. So still pretty advanced technique. Uh, 2005 is really, really advanced. So brick, um, I was going to say brick media, <laughs> mechanized brick. Um, does pretty well with their building techniques. You have a weapon in front as well as an antenna on the side and I just like the way this is shaped for the limited pieces back in the day and gas cans again same building technique as the Jeep however there's this one piece here that would have worked way better I don't know if this was available in 2005 but this is a dark gray piece so most likely would have been available back then. Anyways, the doors do open here. One and one down. So that's the interior. You can fit two minifigures in there. And track has a hard time rolling on the surface, but carpet can roll. Tires in front roll easily. Here's a minifigure I bought to pair with this half track and compare the half track, he's a little small. So yeah, 135 scale, definitely not. It looks a lot bigger, like a 130 or 132 scale. So a little bit out of proportion, but it looks nice. A little stubby too, just like the Jeep. Last but not least is this half track, the M16. The reason why I bought the instruction CD was because of this. So uses the most pieces out of all and has the most advanced building techniques out of the three models. So let's go back again. On the sides, you do have the fuel containers. And here's that piece I wish would have been uh, used instead. I am missing, um, you can see here it's a different color. It's a one by three plate. I'm missing two of those. I thought I had enough in my inventory. But I guess not. I just used uh, those two. So not, not a big deal. Here's the back. And you do have a winch in front. And I definitely like how the front looks. Look at that. You have these uh, tile pieces. And you have this headlight sticking out of the side. So uses those robot arms and everything just comes together well so mechanized brake does a very good job here for this old model and these are uh, those old Technic pieces in light gray and that's the only color it comes with so if you were to want to use uh, the new dark bluish gray you can for every piece except for that so you might have to find an alternative matter of fact all these models you can uh, use the new light bluish gray or dark dark bluish gray and be a lot cheaper easier to uh, build your model so on the back if I remember correctly nope nothing comes down Let's see if the doors open yes they do and that piece came off I like how I just like the looks of this. This thing is cool. It is fragile, especially the tracks, which I'll show you in a second.
you have your machine guns in the back and they do uh, swivel and you can rotate this but you have to rotate it you have to put it all the way up to rotate it otherwise it'll get stuck on this position because these pieces just make it immobile and these pieces here are those black tube pieces I use instead of the bar the black bar piece so just a substitute does the same thing everything else is the same as far as the uh, actual model inside you have a steering wheel and a shift stick or a control stick and you can fit two minifigures here and some minifigures there so here's your driver inside and of course you could put your passenger as well now let's talk about the tracks here so you can see the build is very fragile it's just held by one stud each right here and not much reinforcement in the bottom so could have used more reinforcement to hold these so these wheels the rear ones right here can come off pretty easily and also one flaw I found in the instructions is the rear wheel I took out an extra one of these on each wheel these Technic pieces because if it's in it causes the track to stick out too much and it just falls off the wheel way too easy so with this removed on each side much better and with the wheels they rotate but the back even on carpet it's very stiff so more of a display model than anything else so there you have it three models from the mechanized brick series one CD I wish there's gonna be series two hopefully soon um, not sure if there ever will be but I hope so and I did create something for these I created some custom boxes just to have these for display so I'm quite happy with the result so there you have it three models from the series one instruction CD I don't know if they're gonna ever release a series two it'd be nice if they did um, but series one you can use the dark bluish gray the new one instead of the old dark gray for the pieces and it'll be a lot cheaper and easier to find so check out the CD if you like these models these models are definitely old but their building techniques hold up to this day so this brickhead boy thanks for watching